Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will show you how we can solve Sudoku using graph coloring, which we discussed in previous segments. Sudoku is a simple matrix problem. You are given a matrix and some elements are not filled. You need to fill up that with some constraints. Each row must have all the elements unique. So I cannot put a five here, that's not allowed. Similarly, I cannot put a five somewhere here, that's not allowed because it's already present here. Okay, and there's one more constraint that within every three by three matrix, right? If you take any three by three matrix, let's take the, the very first one. You cannot put the same element one more time. For example, I cannot put a five here because five is already present. So th those are the basic three constraints. All the elements across the row, across the column, and within each three by three sub matrix must be unique. Okay, you may think about this problem and try to come up with an algorithm just to solve Sudoku. But instead of doing that, I'm going to take Sudoku, right? And show you how you can transfer this into a problem that we already solved, which is the graph coloring problem. So Sudoku somehow magically gets converted into a graph coloring problem. And we solve the graph coloring problem and the solution to this becomes the solution to Sudoku. How do we do this transformation from Sudoku to graph coloring? We need to construct a graph. And uh, in order to do that, we need to construct nodes and edges, right? That's the definition of a graph anyways. How many nodes we need? We need 81 nodes because this is a nine by nine Sudoku problem. Nine by nine has 81 cells. Each cell of your Sudoku is a node. So you'll have a graph with lots of nodes, right? I'm just drawing some nodes, not all. Uh, you get an idea just how, how this will be visually. And now uh, the question is, you have a graph made of nodes. How do you connect the nodes? Now we can use the idea of graph coloring. In graph coloring, we assign different colors to adjacent nodes. That means first constraint is that elements of a given row are all different, right? So you take, let's assume first row, you would connect every cell with every other cell. Every node is getting connected with every other node of the first row. Why do we do that? Because according to graph coloring, we, we will be assigning different colors, which is exactly what we need for Sudoku problem. We cannot repeat the same element more than once on a row or on a column or on a three by three sub matrix. I'm not drawing all possible connections, but I just want to show you an idea. Okay. And also over here and so on. Row wise, column wise, but also every three by three, right? That means let's take the first three by three matrix, which is this portion of the graph. We need to make every node connected with every other node because of graph coloring. We have to connect every node with every other node. Once you have this graph, we are almost ready to run graph coloring. There's one more thing to note. We are given an initial configuration. So in our case, how many colors do we need for this nine by nine? We need nine colors because we can just see the numbers are one to one all the way through nine. So color in our case is basically the like set color is one, two, three, and so forth, and so on until nine. But we are given initial configuration. So you go and put initial configuration, let's say five is one color for this node. And the next node is three. So you can assign initial configuration into corresponding graph colors. Now you have everything ready. You have a graph. You already have initial configuration as initial colors. Now you can ask graph coloring algorithm, uh, which we talked about in the previous segment to using SMT solver or SAT solver. We get the colors automatically filled in other nodes based on the graph coloring property that adjacent nodes will not have the same color. Right, so once you have a graph, we can easily run it with the graph coloring algorithm. Eight seconds or so, you get the solution. And I have generated different types of Sudoku with different number of empty cells. For example, here, easy solution, a lot of things filled. Here's a medium, you know, many things are not filled. Hard, even more, you know, so many empty cells need to be filled and so forth. Everything is solved within 10 seconds. Just using graph coloring algorithm we talked about which in turn uses SMT solver. So your Sudoku gets converted into graph coloring problem, which we converted into Boolean SAT problem.
Boolean satisfiability problem. Okay, we talked about uh, this conversion from graph coloring to Boolean set in the previous segments. In this segment, we just discussed how to go from here to here. So essentially, you are using Boolean set to solve Sudoku indirectly. But we didn't invent any algorithm just for Sudoku itself. We just use existing algorithms. First thing is we need to construct a graph out of Sudoku. That's simple. We take every row. In every row, all the columns, all the, all the nodes corresponding to that particular row are connected. You can see here, I fix a row and I connect all columns. That's that's the graph representation. You know, you, you have a matrix, you take one row. In Sudoku, we have a constraint that all of the elements are different across the row. In terms of graph, uh, we connect every cell of your matrix because every cell is one node. We connect it in such a way that it's a complete graph for that particular row. Complete graph means every node is connected with every other node, which is exactly what we need for graph coloring. Otherwise, it will put same color to two, two nodes. So similarly, we do the same for columns. We fix the row, as you can see here. Similarly, we do the same for columns. We fix a column for any two rows, they are connected because graph coloring will ensure that two nodes that are connected will have a different color. That is the reason why we are adding constraints for columns here. And then we complete it with every three by three sub matrix. Every three by three sub matrix is easy to see here. We multiply the row number by three to jump from one sub matrix to another sub matrix. But the point is all of the elements within three by three sub matrix are connected to each other. Okay. As you can see here, I have my for loop. Um, inner for loop is uh, making sure that I fix the row and I, I connect everything within that three by three connected to each other. These four uh, for loops cover all of the three by three matrices we have. The outermost is jumping from one box to another box. The inner is within the box, uh, columns within the box. And then we take each row within that box, each column within the box, we make connection. Okay, you convert Sudoku into graph coloring problem. One more thing is that we need to fill up the initial configuration of Sudoku in our graph. How do we do that? Remember, the color is just the number one through nine because we are dealing here in this case nine by nine Sudoku. Okay, we have a Sudoku puzzle. We create a graph coloring solver using the, the graph we just discussed. And then we make a partial assignment. The partial assignment is basically saying, go to that particular row, particular column, assign it with the value that we are given from the puzzle. The puzzle itself is just a test case. Okay, here is your puzzle, right? All of these things like five, three, seven, they are all put as colors to the corresponding nodes. That's the, the partial assignment. So in this segment, we talked about how Sudoku can be solved by converting it into a graph coloring problem which in turn is solved using SMT solver as we discussed in the previous segment. Thank you very much for your attention.